Everything you're about to see in this program is real. Real events filmed as they happen. Never before have television cameras been so close to the work of Britain's emergency services. Tonight, Blues and Twos focuses on gun crime. On Merseyside, where it's doubled in the last five years, police are tackling the problem with highly trained officers in armed response vehicles known as ARVs. Merseyside's ARV units treat all gun sightings seriously. Its 72 armed officers mount a swift response to any and every gun-related incident. Constables Di Wynn Stanley and Graham Pickin are part of this specialist team. As they leave their base near Liverpool city centre, they openly carry loaded weapons. Operating at what the police call Level 2. Light when we get back and put blue lights on it. Yeah. Police on the front, baby. We'll put headlights that flash on it as well. Oh no, you don't want to the top. <laughs> Police emergency. I don't know stupid light, but uh, there's a house uh, and there's a phone there going on the switch with a gun. Yeah. Someone go around with a gun? Yeah. Outside the door now, though. Outside the door? Yeah. Right, and what's your name? Uh, Robert. Well, I won't say no more about that. Now, what type of gun has he got, Robert? It's a small one, I don't know. Right, a small gun? Yeah. Has he discharged it? Oh, I know it fired it once, I know that. He fired it once. All right, we'll get someone down there, Robert. Diane Graham are on their way. It's like you clear left. Their call sign, Hotel Charlie 02. Hotel Charlie 02. Hotel Charlie 02. Hotel Charlie 02, go ahead. Thank you. Level two. Level two from the inspector here. Yes, Roger. Right. The initial call at 1528 hours. The male running around with a small gun. Discharged once. Discharged once. Uh, not known if anybody's injured this stage. The male is on foot, now heading towards the Rumble Avenue, Smithtown Road. The male is described as a colored male accompanied by two females. The male informant heard the gun go off once. Yeah, I'm obliged, thanks for that. Alan, what's this vehicle got to do with it? The car was seen leaving the scene, possibly connected to the incident. According to one report, the gunman may be travelling in a blue Sirocco. It's made off in a vehicle. Can we get the vehicle circulated? Airborne assistance is called up. The helicopter call sign, Mike One. Seen towards Smith now, wasn't he? Well, they said towards Arundel. It's oh, yeah. Fern Grove, Hartington sort of way. Hartington. Sean, have you seen that Scirocco before? It's a hand-painted one with the fin on the back that looks there. Yeah, we saw it with the black fellow. Yeah. Uh, it's gone up to the top of Lodge Lane and have a left. We don't know whether it's connected or not, so it's worth doing a stop on it. Yeah, we'll find it. go into the park and have a look. Yeah, see okay. Right, okay. See you later. Yes, I'm here to the vehicles now um, near Mon Street and near to the curb. If you can make that location, please. Yes, I'm here. The Delta Law Patrol Hill information. Now on talk through. Graham's skill as a Class 1 police advanced driver is put to the test as they head for the Sirocco's last reported location. The radio continues to update them and guide them towards their target. As Mike One hovers above the Sirocco, Di and Graham arrive in the street where it's parked. There 
it is, the Blue Chirocco. It's going to be a hard stop on it. At this time, there's nothing other than the fact he matches the description of a male near to the location. No requirements at this time for any further action. But they must be prepared for the worst. Hiya. You said any move around the Blue Chirocco in the last couple of minutes? No, I've just come here now, but it's not mine, I'm in the Audi. It's going to use the Chirocco, which. Hi, uh, the blue Chirocco, who owns it, please? Blue one just parked outside. Is it yours, is it? What? Is it your car? Yes, Chirocco. Can I just have a quick word with you? All right. Just come and stand here for me. <laughs> He's all right, we'll only keep him a minute. Is that your car, is it, Joseph? Yes, Chirocco. Yeah. Yeah. And where do you live? I live in. Okay, how long have you uh, owned the vehicle for? I've only owned the vehicle for, I think, the past. Three months. Okay. And when did you get here today? Just before. Did you come from your house? Yeah. yeah. When you were on your own, when you came back here? Yeah. Were you with any girls? No. No, no nobody in the car. Okay. No, just by myself. Okay. The reason why we've stopped you is because we've had a report of someone with a handgun discharging that handgun in the area of Hartington Road. Well, it must be someone else. Okay. <laughs> for that reason, I'm just going to ask you to show us what you've got in your pockets for oh, now. Easy. <laughs> if you like, you can check the car. Okay. And uh, that's... Okay, put that back. Okay, Joseph, I want you to come with me to the car now, and I'm All just right. going to have a quick look in it. Let Provided that there's nothing in it, you can, can be on your way. You? Yeah, come well, with that, us now. That key doesn't open. That key for the ignition. Okay. Okay, if you open it for me, then just go and stand back. Just go and stand back. All right, it's okay, don't okay, worry. Okay, Graham. Can you just stand with him while I search this car? Can I open the door for you? The door? Okay, yeah, open the door okay. in a second, okay. Okay, you just have a look while I'm searching it, yeah? Vehicle searches by ARV units always follow a set pattern. Police stops up made at random. They target known and suspected criminals or act on tip-offs. Wait a minute, Joseph. Joseph, no! Oh. Come no, stand over here. For you. Stand over here and do as you're told for now. Okay. Other police officers now join the search. I'm with the vehicle. Yeah, it's much like to be a search at the moment. Can you confirm that there's a, a male with the vehicle for me, please? Yes, apparently the male made to a premises nearby is now being checked out by uh, an ARV for your information. Roger, I'm obliged to that. Thank you. I'm obliged to thank so you've seen no one round Hartington Road in no, the area? I, was, I must have been inside. If anyone done that, I was inside. I didn't see the person. Okay. So you appreciate why you've been stopped. Your car's been seen leaving the area. No, I understand. I understand. Okay. As long as you're all right, that's the main thing. Dave, it sounds like a, a false call, good intent. Vehicle check, correct? Joseph is obviously innocent, and with no firearms found, it's safe for the ARVs to withdraw. All right, you're quite happy with the reason why you've been stopped? Yeah, but I hope you found nothing in the car. No, we didn't find anything. You'd know about it if we had, wouldn't you? You'd like the car. It's beautiful. All righty, see Joseph. All Take right. care. Bye-bye. Delta Patrol, Delta Patrol. Regards the incident, Dumont Street is now a stand-down. Thank you, Mr. Roger, a dodger. The police firing range at headquarters. Jack and Josh, two shot. Mike the man, double tap. Graham and Di are both highly trained firearms officers. But their skills are under constant review. They have to re-qualify three times a year. If they fail to meet the strict standards, they lose the right to carry weapons. Merseyside's armed response unit was formed five years ago as a high-profile deterrent to prevent gun crime. No one has ever been shot by an ARV officer. Charlie Hotel Charlie Zero Two. Yeah, have we got any description of the uh, offenders? Oi! Stay there! A disturbance involving a group of schoolgirls at the local bus station. A girl has been assaulted. There's no call for armed police, but as Di happens to be on the spot, she deals with it until a local uniform patrol can get there. Hotel Charlie Zero Two from Charlie. Get off, me get off me arm! Get off me arm! You're hitting me arm, Nate! Don't touch her, Donnie! Don't touch her, she's having a f***ing baby, leave me! 
Get a uniform patrol inside the bus station, please. Get off! Come Donna, back to the car. It's okay. You're not f***ing her. Donna, where do you go? Donna! Donna, where do you go? As Di hands over the girls, Graham signals that an urgent firearms job has just come in. Yeah, Farnweird Street, yeah. Yeah, meet to Farney, okay. Right, okay, en route. Hotel Charlie Zero 02 received. Yeah, received. We've got to clear. There are uniform patrols there. Yeah, Roger. What is it? Where is he? Are they going to have they pulled him or they no, A suspect known to the police has been seen driving through the city. Other armed officers are requesting assistance. Patrols at the bus station. Do we have an update, please? What was the score with it? Because I just saw them arriving. And the girl and the two, the two girls in the blue Adidas tops and that girl there had assaulted a girl in the bus station. So what have we got, Graham? The car is. So he's pulled over and right. got out. The, he's seen them and got out the way. Right. So he's just gone somewhere to look for them. The control room call sign Charlie checks that Di and Graham are now on their way to the firearm job. Hotel Charlie 02 from Charlie. Go ahead. Have you cleared from the bus depot now, over? Yeah, affirmative. We had to uh, leave as the other patrols arrived. We've been deployed to a firearms job. Yeah, Roger received. The cow's made off from the ARV. Um, they believe they've got good information that he's armed. On seeing them, he's made off into a side street, gone into a house. Right. Hotel Delta are waiting, right. and Hotel Charlie's L2 is making up to him. Guy to Graham or Andy. Hello, Graham Action. We're outside Farnworth Street, Nick, now, mate. Right, well, listen, what I want you to do is come down Farney, and you can either do a left or a right, but park up on Prescott Road where you can look at the lights. So you'll have to be in a position to pick up on him. Yes, hello, Jenny, it's only me again. Hotel Delta's there, Hotel Charlie 02, and we're just waiting to see whether he moves off from the location. Because if he comes past us, we'll be able to pick him up. If you pick him up, we can dart out then. He saw them, and he made off along Kensington into Jubilee. By the time they stopped, he'd parked up and run into a house. So can you just give us a description of the car? Yeah, it's a black sword. They haven't tried to stop him, they haven't had a chance to stop him, no. He was, he was aware of the police and he's done one. It's just to make you aware of the fact. But if he does one, we're going to do a level two. Yeah, for your info, we've gone into Thorns Road. Um, if you know where that one is, it's going to be easier. Uh, we've got more choice if he turns left or right of the lights. As long as you can see the end of the junction of the road on Prescott Road, I don't care where you are, but you're going to be the ones who have to see him because he's pointing your way. Yeah, we're, uh, we've got eyes on the whole junction and uh, quite a good view of the road, haven't we? We'll just wait and see what he does. Yeah, Roger. Two armed response vehicles are positioned at key points, prepared to stop the suspect car if necessary. Di and Graham must assume the driver is armed. They have several options, including containment where they'd surround the suspect's house. If he comes out and he stops, we'll have an armed stop. And if he keeps going and bells into his house, we'll have a containment. If he comes up here like a bat out of hell, we're going to struggle to try and get to him. We'll do the best I can, like that. Go, go, go. Never mind. Go, go, go. Straight on into Farmworth Street. One male on board, white male. Get him before he gets home. He lives at one. Yeah, the Fithian, we're now by the Fithian. What you are about to see could happen in any street, in any town. The entire operation is carried out in accordance with strict police rules on the use of firearms. On police, stand still! Driver, get out of the car! Put your hands in the air! Stand still! Now walk this way! Walk this way! Stand still! Keep your hands in the air, drop down onto your knees. Hands in the air. Now put your hands on your head. Stay there. Look at the floor. Don't move. Look at the floor. Someone's going to approach you. You stand still. Sit still. What the f is going on? Get back. Get back now. What's going on? Get back. I'm telling you to move back. I'll see you in a minute. Stay there.
As onlookers gather, a relative of the suspect can't believe what's happening. What's going on? A careful body search of the suspect is carried out. Damn, hit all I've had. Yeah. It's all I can. What's going on? Say that. Hey, stop bang on that. Just keep quiet. Move back. Move back. No weapons are found on him, so the next step is a thorough search of his car. Lift it and pull it hard. Lift it and pull it hard. Get back in the pub. Get back in the get back. get back in. Get back in. Do as you're told. No, it's just sort of places like this, you can have a go at it. Police ARV units know from experience that with a car stop, there's a real danger of an armed accomplice hiding in the boot. It must be approached with great caution. Oh, yeah, lift, it, lift the button and pull it hard. And load it. There's nothing in it. Got the boxes. Okay, clear. clear. This quick but crucial check finds nothing. A detailed inspection of the boot will follow later. The handcuffed suspect is held in one of the armed response vehicles while the rest of his car is searched. Merseyside's ARVs carried out more than 1,500 routine stop checks last year. Few demand this level of response. Okay, mate. And in One in ten will lead to arrests and possible prosecution. All right, if it's been explained here, obviously, sorry about what's happened, but the information we've had is concerned in this vehicle. I'm sure my colleagues explained it all to you. And obviously, we've got to do it the way we do it. All right. Proactive policing has disrupted the free movement of criminals around the city. There are jobs in Liverpool. They're going to a board meeting now. Oh no! Hotel Charlie Zero Two. Yes, Inspector Davidson. We've got a level two deployment, please, in Formby. We'll get you further details uh, while you're en route. A handgun has been seen in the front passenger seat of a motor vehicle, going to uh, an address in Mel's uh, Lane. Okay, sir. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Uh, a vehicle has pulled up outside an address yeah. where a handgun's been seen on the front passenger seat. Go ahead for form being out. Yes, please. Level two deployment. Bravo Control, Bravo Control, Hotel Charlie Zero Two. Hotel Charlie Zero Two, go ahead. Yeah, just for your info, we've been deployed to the job in Formby. Um, we're en route from the Liverpool 8 area. Uh, we'll stay on Channel 3 as and when you have any update, if you could shout it through for us, please. Merseyside's ARVs dealt with more than 1,600 incidents involving firearms in the first half of last year. But the ability of the armed units to get to the scene quickly has greatly reduced the actual number of shootings. Ooh, ah, misses. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Your job. It's observations, please, for a black Ford Fiesta. Okie dokie. That's our Charlie Zero Two, brother. Alright, thanks a lot, sir. Black 
what Fiesta it is. Is this it? Yeah. Yes. As they reach the rendezvous, Dai makes radio contact with their colleagues in the ARV ahead. Yeah, we've got it. Yeah. Tell the Bravo, to keep going. Hotel Tell Charlie Zero Two. Going. Tell the panda outside the address to keep going, please, urgently. Hotel Bravo Zero One to the controls. There is a black board we entered on the forecourt of that premises. As Dai releases the firearms, the inspector at headquarters gives an update. A member of the public has seen a firearm in a car and given a location. There is a car there and uh, we believe that the occupant could be within a house at that location. Uh, ARVs are currently outside the premises. I was going to wait for him to come out and take him out on the street while he's in the car. If he did have something in the car, he could well have it on his person now while he's in there, couldn't he? Ask him if he wants a level two. Or yeah, are you going to do a level two then? Doors open, get on the floor, Jobby. Yeah, I think we should do. Yeah, roger. There's an entrance way and an exit way off the premises, off the car park there, so we could go either way. The driver's door is open. Yeah, Don't see anybody with it yet. Yeah. Stay here for a second. The driver's door is closed. We've got brake lights on. Well, it's a go, go, go. But I'm coming. He's manoeuvring on the forecourt now. Get that car out the way. Looks, looks like a left way. Towards, towards, towards us, towards us. Get this red car out. Right, go, go. Officers can take no chances. Every suspect could be an armed and dangerous gunman. All are approached as such. All suspects are handcuffed and searched. The body search fails to produce anything. We're going to do the car, Graham. Once again, the boot contains nothing suspicious. Graham, have a look under the uh, seat. There could be a stabbing in the kids. So we go somewhere in that car, mate. Yeah. The reported gun turns out to be nothing more threatening than a child's toy belonging to the driver's son. It was mistaken for a real firearm by an elderly man who had a lift in the car earlier. I picked an old fellow up. Um, just down the road and I, and I asked him, Directions to this place, and he said, I'm going that way. Can I get in the car? Yeah. Where did you drop him off? Um, just down the corner, there. Yeah. Just yeah, appreciate if someone sees a gun in a car, he thinks a gun, that, you know. There's a gun? Yeah. <laughs> it's a kid's water pistol. <laughs> the driver had just left his physiotherapist after treatment for a back injury when he was stopped yeah. by police. Understandably, he was not amused. Well, I'd better tell the police. Um, the update on that job. Toy gun. Yeah, affirmative. You all right? <laughs> He's got in the back of the baby's seat in the front. He, s seen that. he saw this under the seat. Right. Um, how's he taking it? And he's phoned the police thinking he had a gun on board. I mean, he's been genuine. Yeah. You know, you, you can't criticise the fella for uh, panicking. He's seen that. Obviously, we get called. And you know the rest because you were present. <laughs> so, um, I gotta ask Dun Wonders for his uh, the medical problems he had with the physiotherapist. <laughs> he's gonna take that home and smash hell out of it. <laughs> Eventually, he did see the funny side. He realised the police were only doing their job.